response to what I just heard from the Minister of Energy, that this underscores uh, a theme that has run through this chamber from the moment I walked in here in November of 2007. And that is, if we don't do it in the liberal way, we're either um, doing it wrong uh, or we're against it. Okay? If, if you bothered, sir, to read the motion that we're debating today, uh, what you'd find is that we're not against smart meters at all. What it says is we want to freeze, we want to freeze the installation of smart meters until such time as they are proven to work. And we've heard plenty of admission from that side of the House, from the government side of the House, on the fact that they don't work at this point. So don't characterize the Progressive Conservative Party as being anything but for the people. The people who are going to have to pay the price of machines that, as of this point, are indeed nothing more than tax generation machines. The main message that we get from the McGuinty Liberal government on an ongoing basis is that we have to make sacrifices these days. That's why we have these great big deficits that you people are racking up. We have to make sacrifices. You know, uh, if you've ever been a dad, and most of the males in this chamber have been dads. We understand sacrifice. We call uh, the Premier, Premier Dad, as a nickname for a reason, because he asks for us to, to see the world in that way. We don't see the world in that way. Sacrifice is a legitimate thing to do, but there's no way that this side of the House is going to, is going to sacrifice on the basis of how money is being managed on behalf of the citizens of Ontario by that party. The sub-message, if you don't support our legislation, you're somehow or other anti-Ontario, and that is patently untrue. And, and I would cite, by way of example, a couple of things. The Green Energy Act, which we debated last year, and, and I could say an awful lot about the Green Energy Act, but I have limited time. The Green Energy Act, either I voted for it or I was somehow against green energy. Not true. The, the Pesticides Act a couple of years ago, I voted against that act, but I'm not against the protection of our children. And that's what I was told at the time I was by voting against it. If, if I go on, the Water Opportunities Act, which uh, has just gone to committee after second reading, um, I'm against that as well, but not because I'm against clean water. I'm against legislation as it's brought in by the Liberal government of the day. And that's the difference between the way we are characterized on this side and the way you present what you present as our way or the highway. My message, my message is quite a different message, and my message is if it looks like manure and it smells like manure, it's either liberal rhetoric or it's manure. I would ask you to withdraw that comment. I withdraw, Speaker. The point we're trying, the point we're trying, yes, you saw the program too. The, the point we're trying to make is that Ontario families, as the leader of the Progressive Conservative Party pointed out in his opening remarks, uh, are afraid to open hydro bills. I want to read into the record. I have several of them, many of them indeed, but one letter that I got from a Thornhill resident on this subject. And I quote from Ralph, as yet I don't have a smart meter, but my best guess is that it will add 20% as we are in the mid-70s and not inclined to get up at 2 a.m. to do the laundry or dishes, and also not inclined to buy new clothes and dishwashers with delayed startup timers when our current appliances work just fine. The point of this note is to advise that today PowerStream sent us a letter increasing the monthly installment from $194, which they set themselves from historic data, to $378 per month for the next six months. Upon calling, I found some was catch-up, but a significant portion was the inclusion of the HST and the 12.9 per cent rate increase. That is about smart meters and the other things that you've been piling on. You've got to understand why we're asking for a freeze, and you've got to understand why we're asking for a choice, and you've got to understand, because you read the newspapers as well as we do, that that is no more than any citizen of the province of Ontario wants us to call for right now. Thank you, Speaker. Thank you. Uh, further debate? The member for Willowdale. Thank you very much, uh, Speaker. It's, uh, 